I could say that getting a new kitchen put us back, you know, onto London scene. There's a lot of competition in London, and you know, it was important for us to get a top kitchen to be one of the top restaurants. So that put us back on the game in London. Well, during the refurbishment, we could actually talk to our customers and tell them that we'd been open for 18 years and we were getting a brand new kitchen, and uh, we told them what we were get, gonna get. And for them, it was very interesting because it's such a massive kitchen, it was a big project, and they were interested on the, the impact it will have. And then when we reopened, there was a big impact. You know, the, the quality of the food, you know, the speediness on which the chef could cook. Everything had a big impact, and as well for the waiters and the managers on the floor, we could enter a beautiful kitchen, and it's always very nice to be in a, a nice environment. It's a very professional environment to have a brand new kitchen like this one. So it's brilliant. Now, Oxata restaurant's been here for 20 years. I've been here for 14 years, so we know, or I knew, what the requirements were of a modernize, to, to modernize the kitchen. So we were just a little bit concerned that the equipment from Domenico was just really designed for Michelin star kitchens. But actually, after 10 months we've been open, since November, the amount of covers we've done is somewhere in the region of 76,000 in 10 months. So, I mean, that answers the questions that I believe the range, the equipment as a whole, has got durability and it can withstand that amount of covers, no doubt. One of the main things we needed to take away from the kitchen was the heat. So remove that heat away from the kitchen. And the, you know, the thing doing that is just bringing induction. The pans just work when you put them onto the, the induction hob, which takes away the heat. You know, it's, for instance, you know, well-being of, chef, of the chefs working just makes them feel a whole lot better. There's no carbon burning, there's no heat. Overall, the precision in the cooking, the consistency in the dishes is coming through. Now we're using induction and we're using a lot of, we've gone to a lot more sous vide cooking in a, in a way of style and uh, just a lot of finishing on the planches, which in effect has speeded the service up and um, made service more efficient. Also, the clean down at the end of the service is seamless. You know, we can go from doing very, very busy service, 20 minutes, the kitchen is absolutely spotless. Then we've got a night cleaner that comes in. He does all the sealing and the filters, so that gets done every night. And as we come into work the following morning, everything is 100% clean. You know, it's very, very easy to clean. There's no joints, everything's flush, everything just runs away. We squeegee the floor, just very, very hygienic. In our old kitchen, we had a blast chiller that was the size of uh, two meters tall by a meter wide. But when we installed, and when we were looking at blast chillers, the installation was a small blast chiller, maybe 20th of the side. We became a little bit nervous. But actually, once it's here and we're working with it, the efficiency of the blast chiller is, I'd say, 100 times better. It's a blast freezer. We can blast freeze to minus 35 degrees in an hour which is just, you know, it's incredible. When we were doing the research to find the best equipment for our kitchen, we went to, to Milano, and one restaurant we went to was Berton, and they had these hydraulic passes, like a, like a bank hot lights, that um, I just imagined that in my kitchen, I thought, I need to have that. Because as you see, it's lovely and open. We start the service, we bring these down into, into position, for the service to start. Straight after service, these go back to the top and clean down and the kitchen's open again and everybody can carry on with their uh, daily jobs. 
I love to have people to come into the kitchen and see, you know, it's a thing that I'm proud of, it's a thing that I've been involved in from the start, from the foundation of the designing and the installation of the kitchen. So I'm proud, I'm proud to show people around, you know, and it's something that, you know, I relish.